just like to play. I enjoy to be on the court and I just want to prove to myself that I can do it in the end. I started playing tennis when I was six. Um, it was in a mountain called Zlatibor and my grandpa took me there for the first time. I mean, we were always close, but I think that that was definitely our thing. And um, it was funny because, you know, he was um, trying, you know, a bunch of different things, you know, trying to see what would get me excited. And, you know, t we finally found something that was working and it was, it, was, uh, it was a happy time for us. Well, I left home when I was 13. I went to Florida and definitely was tough, uh, especially for my parents, you know, they had to make that call. and. I know it wasn't easy for them, but I think they knew that it was the best thing for me at that time and I'm very happy that they let me go and, you know, to pursue my dream and it was obviously a lot tough, you know, I didn't really speak English that well and didn't know anybody, so at the beginning it was, it was, you know, really tough, you know, to get through, but, you know, eventually, you know, everything came together and it was, it was really enjoyable to be there. You know, it takes a lot of things, you know, you have to... You have to be every day on the court, day in, day out, give 100% every time, you know, even when it, you don't want to or you're playing bad. Um, you know, it takes basically your whole life, you know, to commit to it, um, you know, with the nutrition, with the mindset, with the, the way you behave, the way you act on the court. Um, and I think also you need a ton of, ton of people around you that can help you, that can guide you through it because obviously you don't know a lot at that age. So I think you do need to find that balance and I think you just need to commit to it every day. I mean, definitely my parents, you know, they gave me everything that I needed to let's say have an opportunity to do it. And obviously my aunt too, you know, she travels with me a lot and she's a big help of course, you know, with everything outside of tennis. You know, I had a lot of good coaches, um, physios, fitness guys, and I think it was, I was very lucky to have a good group of people around me that, you know, wanted me to succeed for me and, you know, just to help me in the, in the journey. It's definitely, I think, uh, and it's kind of like an escape route for me, um, gets me, you know, outside of everything, outside of the everyday life and everything that I, you know, that you know, somebody has to deal with. And I think that's uh, part of the reason why I like it so much, because, you know, on the court, it's you, you're by yourself, you know, and nothing else matters. And um, I also think, you know, just because I come from a smaller country and, you know, it's not as big as in some of the other places, I think that's why, you know, in the back of my mind, I want to prove that, you know, even though that you're from there, you know, you can make it, you can play good, you know, you can succeed. And we obviously have a ton of players, you know, to prove that. And I just want to be a part of that. What would you like your grandfather to say about you? I would want him to think that, um, you know, that I was happy, that it wasn't forced on me, that I gave everything I had. And at the end of the day, I think that, I guess the best thing for him would be that I enjoyed myself and that I was happy. Um, that I had an opportunity that I think most people don't have and that, um, that I used it to see a lot of different things, a lot of different cultures and people and I think he just wanted me to take that in, you know, appreciate it and, you know, be thankful for it.